look what's going on, we need to be defending free speech in this country. And the way big tech is acting, the way that, that these big tech companies are act, acting, it seems like all they're trying to do is muzzle people. That if you speak up and you say things that they don't think fit their narrative, uh, that they want to silence you or deplatform you. And I can tell you, you can't have a robust free society with robust debate if speech is controlled by a half dozen oligarchs way out in Silicon Valley. Uh, because I can tell you, a lot of their values um, are not your values. And if we're going to let them be the arbiters, uh, we are going to rue the day. So we've got to fight back against that. And my view is, is, is the truth will prevail. You know, the people that don't want truth, uh, you know, what, did the, what was the first thing they did in Cuba when you saw the uprising? They tried to stop the communications because they didn't want people to be able to share what was going on. And so that's kind of the, the nature of this. So we did a bill last year, it's being litigated now. I think we're gonna end up getting a positive result on the appeal one way or another. We may have to do some tweaks in the legislature, but my position is this, that you should not as a Floridian uh, be censored or deplatformed with impunity by these big tech companies. You have free speech rights, uh, they make huge amounts of money off selling your data. They claim these are open platforms. They get all this liability protection from the federal government. Uh, and then they turn around and they pick and choose what they want to allow on there. They are acting as publishers and they shouldn't have that protection. But the bottom line is uh, they are acting in many respects as an arm of the government by some of the things they choose to censor or not. And so people say the First Amendment doesn't apply to a private company. Well, if you're acting as an arm and extension of the state, you do have First Amendment protections uh, and yet those should be done. But even, if, even short of that, I just think it's a fraud on the consumer for them to act like these are open platforms and then to pick and choose what they're going to allow on. If you had said uh, in March of 2020 that the coronavirus came out of the Wuhan Institute of Technology, they took that down. They silenced it at the behest of many people in the government at the time, but now we know, here we are now, a year and a half later, um, and there's been no other explanation other than that that's been proffered. Same things for people that have criticized closing schools, closing businesses. They would take that down and they would silence it. That is not what a free society is all about. So we have to bring accountability uh, to these really, really big uh, companies. I want to make sure that everyone in Florida has the right to speak uh, their mind uh, without fear of being censored or without fear of being deplatformed. And I think we're getting closer there in the state of Florida.